In this first exercise, we'll find the blocks for the Etch-a-Sketch game. Scratch lets you build animations and games by putting blocks together to make a script. A block is like an action or an instruction that tells a sprite to do something. At the top left of the screen, you can see buttons which let you play with different kinds of block. For the Etch-a-Sketch game, we'll be using the Motion, the Control and the Pen groups of blocks. So if we select the Pen group, I'll drag to the script area the blocks that we need for the game. We're going to use Clear, which removes from the stage all lines drawn by the pen. We'll take a pen up and the pen up stops the sprite from drawing a line on the stage when it moves. And similarly, we'll take a pen down, which makes the sprite draw a line when it moves. We'll take set pen colour to a selected colour, and that changes the colour of the pen. You click on the coloured square to change the colour. And we'll take a set pen size to. And that changes the width of the line drawn by the pen. And you click on the number and put your own value in to set the width of the pen. Next we'll move on to the motion group of blocks. And from here we'll take change x by 10. This changes the X position, which is the left and right position of the sprite. You can click on the number and type a new value. Positive numbers move the sprite to the right. Negative numbers move it to the left. You can click the block now just to see the sprite move. Now we'll take a change Y by 10. This changes the Y position, which is the up and down position of the sprite. You can click on the number and type a new value, just as for the X move. Positive numbers move the sprite up, and negative numbers move it down. So if we click it with a value of 10, you can see that the sprite moves up each time I click. And we'll take a go to X0, Y0. This will move the sprite immediately to the numbers that you put into the X and Y values. So, as they are at the moment, they will take the sprite to the centre of the screen. If I click it now, that's what happens. And now we'll go to the control group of blocks and we'll take when green flag clicked and when space key pressed. And we look at how we use all of these blocks in the next exercise.